Well, here we are at the end of the series. Well done for making it all the way through. Just to wrap up, we're going to have a look at five or six things to absolutely take away and make sure that you understand. So number one is absolutely make sure you are doing your pulling action technically right. The mechanics are correct and you are doing everything in line and you're going to do it correct and right. So doing the technical and mechanics first is really going to hold you in good stead. It means that your training is going to last for years and years and years and you're going to be doing it correct from day one. So takeaway number two is try to find where your current ability lies. Don't worry about what other people can do. Just worry about what you are able to do and are technically correct and try to figure out what your current strength level is. Number three is make sure that you program and you go slow. There's no point in going into the gym or going to your pull-up bar and you don't really have a plan of what you're trying to do and you don't understand why you're trying to do it. Have a plan, program it, do it correctly, go slow, linear progress and you're going to be golden. Number four, make sure you absolutely include your joint mobility and your warm-ups and following your training, don't neglect your stretching and myofascial release. This stuff is absolutely essential for longevity and if you want to be doing this for years to come, you have to include this stuff. So number five is absolutely make sure you're doing the stuff properly but ensure that you are having fun and you are enjoying your training. If you are not enjoying your training, it is not again going to last long and you want to be able to get stronger for a long period of time. If it's not enjoyable, you're going to trail off and essentially everything is just going to stop. Back to me, you can put in the comments if you have any questions, but you should understand everything you are doing. Do your research online, go to internet websites that follow people like Kelly Starrett or go to T Nation or any of these big websites and try to find out a good source of information. There are so many varying different ideas behind these things that it can be quite messy and it's hard to find the actual real truth of the matter. So you're going to have to do your research, you're going to have to find a really good source of information and do your reading. The idea is the more knowledgeable you are, the more you're going to understand why you're doing this stuff, how to do this stuff and make sure that you're not going to be injured further down the line. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching this series. Hopefully you've got something out of it. I've tried to put in as much information as I can. If there's anything that I've missed, please feel free to put the comments in below and I will try to add in and bulk out the series as much as I can with more information if I can. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and potentially I will see you on one of the other series.